Sometimes when I block people, I just come down with it. No, no, no. Not in my house. How he doing it? No, no, no. No, no, no. Not today. <laughs> not even in Senegal. Not today. Not in Mutombo house. Growing up in Senegal, I grew up being Muslim because like almost 90% of the population is Muslim. I had to pray five times a day. So you gotta pray in the morning and around one o'clock. You gotta pray again at five o'clock, seven o'clock and 8.30. We just grow up learning Quran and stuff like that, going to pray. Well, I was young when I started playing basketball, maybe 10, 11, something like that. But I used to play soccer. I love playing soccer. But then I was the tallest one of my friends, and they wanted me to play basketball. My mom said, you got to go play basketball. So sometimes you used to take my soccer shoes away and put it away, or throw it in trash, something like that, and want me to go play basketball. Starting playing basketball, I was a point guard, being a guard. And then I got here, I got taller. And I got bigger, so that's when I stopped playing big man. At first, I got an opportunity to go to play in Europe because I got a lot of friends that went straight. But my mom wanted me to go to school and play basketball. And after two, two years, three years, I got offered to go to junior college. He came in with a very high body fat and had never really addressed the nutrition and physical development part of being an athlete. So we wanted him to try to get in great shape, but he was in Ramadan. It's something that we do every year. You gotta do once a year for one month. Like the whole year you've been eating and doing everything. So they want you to just one month to discipline yourself not to eat and think about other people that don't have no food. So you can't eat or drink when the sun go up until the sun go down. So it's a little bit hard if you had to practice and stuff. No water, no food. When you don't drink any liquid from sun up to sundown, it's not like you can go work out for an hour, an hour and 15 minutes and, and try to burn 1,000 calories. You can't, you're gonna pass out. Yeah, I have a conversation with Coach Whip, actually. He respect that. Sometimes he, like, because of me, he used to push practice up, so he wanted me to eat right away after practice. What we worked with Dudu on was trying to create a plan that didn't violate any of the things that were really important to him. We got him to set an alarm before sun up and make sure he drank some low calorie Gatorade but to get some electrolytes and fluids in his system and eat a little snack in the morning. And then obviously we modified how much cardio and conditioning he was doing until Ramadan was over. You know what, I think that it's our job um, as coaches and as a university to be understanding and to allow him to do the things he needs to do to, um, to represent his religion. I think I'm really trying to go play overseas right now after this year. I think Kush know and they, I know they're going to help me to get somewhere. I mean, I think it's cool to travel around the world because you always learn something new about the culture. like. It's, it's, I think it's cool for me right now speaking English. I never thought I would speak English in my life because at home, we got English classes, but trust me, I don't go to no English classes. I'm like, what's the point of going to English classes? I don't speak English. So, but I think it's good to come in here and learn English. Maybe go to another country and learn another language. Thank <laughs> you.